Hi, this is Kim from Emerging Creatively Tutorials, and this is ECT TV episode 84. So, in today's episode of ECT TV, I'm going to show you how to make a pair of earrings. We're just going to be using wire and a bead. And while I have this opportunity, I have your attention, I wanted to tell you about a challenge I have coming up. So I think this is the fourth year. In September, I will be having earrings every day month. And it's a challenge to make a pair of earrings every single day. And so it's pretty simple. There, you can just do that at home, make a pair of earrings each and every day. And if you want to get kind of a weekly encouragement, inspiration, reminder email, just sign up for my email newsletter. And the link will be below this video so you can sign up. And I'll be sending those out every Friday during the challenge. If you want a little bit extra and you want to go kind of deeper into this challenge, I also have running alongside of this Earrings eCourse. Now Earrings eCourse is 30 earring tutorials, so you'll get one every single day of September. Each tutorial is a video and a PDF, so you can watch it, but you can also um, download the eBook or print it, take it to your work table, whatever works for you. I know people learn in different ways as well. So each day you'll have both um, and you'll get them every single day. New this year, all of the tutorials are already available. So as soon as you buy the e-course, you'll have access to all of them. So you don't have to necessarily go in the order I'm telling you to go in. Um, you can jump around if you want to, but I'll be still sending out emails every single day to kind of remind you and give you that day's tutorial. So I hope that you'll join in. Also this year, I'm going to be giving out little fun prizes along the way for people who participate. So. If you do make your earrings, and even if you're just doing the free version where you don't buy the e-course, if you post a photo of your earrings, then you will get prizes depending on how many you post. Um, all the details are in a blog post that I will also link below this video. In fact, you'll find a link below this video to a blog post um, for this episode that will link to everything that you need to know, anything I mentioned throughout the video, you will find a link to. So, I hope you're excited for earrings every day month, and today I'm going to show you how to make a pair of earrings. So, if you like this tutorial, I'm sure you'll love earrings e-course as well. So, let's get started. These are the earrings we're making today and kind of have a unique um, bit of wire wrapping here and they're drop earrings so they can drop down. You can customize these earrings and make them as long or as short as you want. I'm going to give you the measurements I use to make these earrings but then you can make them longer if you want or shorten them up a little bit if you like. Um, these are nice and light and dainty. Um, you just need to consider how heavy your bead is on the ends when you're making earrings, anytime you're making earrings. So just be conscious of that and I'm going to show you what you need to make these earrings. So the first thing you're going to need to make these earrings are bead dangles. So in our last episode I showed you how to make a bead dangle and it's exactly how I made this and I've shown you other times if you've been watching videos for a while of mine. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to take the time to show you how to make them in this video. If you need help, I will be linking to a video to show you how to make bead dangles in the blog post that goes along with this, this uh, video. So you'll need two that are matching. If you want matching earrings, of course you don't necessarily need matching earrings. And then you'll also need earring wires. So I made my own and you can make your own or you can purchase them pre-made. If you want to know how to make your own, I will also link to a video to show you how to do that in the blog post for this video. 
and you're going to need 20 gauge half hard round wire or the equivalent. I like to use para wire. It's silver plated, non tarnish. I've been really liking it. It really doesn't tarnish. Um, I've been wearing a couple, actually, what I was wearing in the intro to this video quite a bit in the heat, sweating on it. It really doesn't tarnish. And 20 gauge wire is what you'll need. If you're using some sort of craft wire or this pair of wire, it doesn't really have a hardness label, but it works similarly to half hard. And then the tools you'll need are wire cutters, round nose pliers, and chain nose pliers. And you may need bent nose pliers or maybe a second pair of chain nose or flat nose pliers just to help you with the wrapping. And also a ruler would be helpful. So I'm going to show you how to make one earring and then you just repeat the process for the second earring. Just do exactly the same thing. Make sure you follow the same measurements and then they will be identical. So I'm going to start by cutting about two and a half inches of wire. And then I just like to make sure there's a flush cut on each side. So when I cut that side, I know I made a flush cut. And then on this side, you want to make a flush cut. So to make a flush cut, you just use the back of your wire cutters toward the wire. Um, and it just makes a nice flat cut. And then just make sure you don't send your wire off flying anywhere. Um, I like to make sure it doesn't end up on the floor either because you will end up stepping on it. And we are still going to need our roller, so I'm bringing it back. So now grab your round nose pliers. And I get this tip a lot, but to make uniform loops throughout a project, you can just make a little mark with a Sharpie on your round nose pliers. And then when you're making your loops, just line up with that mark every time you make your loops. So I have a mark on my round nose pliers. It's toward the tip here. It's hard to see in the video. Um, so it doesn't actually matter where you make this mark, just that you follow it throughout the project. I'm trying to make kind of smaller loops, so if you want them to be smaller, you, you go toward the tip. Um, but I wanted to have enough room to work too, so it's kind of right here. And you really only need to make the mark on one barrel of your pliers. So I'm going to start about three quarters of an inch down on my wire. And then you want to just line up the wire with that mark I just told you to make vertically. And then just wrap the wire down around. We're just making a wire wrapped loop here. Pretty simple. And so you form a loop going around your pliers. So we have this loop. And now I'm grabbing my chain nose pliers. I'm going to hold that in the loop or I'm going to hold the loop in my chain nose pliers and you see this loops off to the side. We want it on top. So the way I do this is I just go around the wire once and while I'm doing that I pull the loop up so it's straight on top of the wire. And now I'm just switching hands and this is where you may want a second pair of pliers. And I'm just using bent nose pliers where it's going to go around two more times. And sometimes that wire will start to get short and hard to wrap with. Um, if that happens, just wrap it as close as you can and trim off the excess. I like to go around twice and then cut off any extra. And then just come back with your chain nose pliers and make sure that end is not poking out. You don't want it to smash the end into the wire because that can create problems too. You're just sort of trying to continue the, the way you were wrapping around. So you're just sort of doing this motion and just kind of make sure that end is not poking out. So that is one side and we're going to make a loop on the other side as well. Similarly, but there's a bit of a difference. So going back to our roller, and 
this is kind of where you can make changes. If you want to make a longer earring, you will need more wire to begin with, um, and then you can leave more space in between the loops. I am just going to use half of an inch between the loops. So I'm measuring from the bottom of the last wrap, and I'm just grabbing my wire at the half inch mark. And sometimes you just got to get yourself set back up here so everything's comfortable again. Just kind of try to hold on to the wire at the right spot. So again, we're just going to wrap the wire around to form a loop. And at this point, we're going to grab our bead dangle. Now the bead dangle has a loop on the top. We're just going to slide that loop over that wire and into the loop that you just created. And now we're just going to continue like we did before. However, we're just going to have this bead dangle here. And you just sort of let that off to the side. Kind of pretend like it's not there. And you go around once. Straighten out your loop like I showed you before. And then we're going to do two more wraps. Like I said, you could just, if you can, you could just use your hand or I'm just using my bent knees pliers. If your wraps get a, like, a little bit far apart from each other and not close, you can squeeze them together using your chain knees pliers. And I'm just cutting off the little bit of extra here. And, oops, it's still sitting here. <laughs> and then just make sure the end is not sticking out. So, we just have one final step. And that is putting the earring wire on. And opening an earring wire is kind of just like opening up a jump ring. If you've done that before, um, I just like to hold the earring in one hand and then my chain is pliers in the other hand and you're going to open by pulling the uh, pliers toward you. You don't want to pull out. You want to try to maintain this loop. So just pull toward you. As you can see that loop is still a loop but it is open and then I'm just going to put the top loop of my earring in and then just do the opposite and close it. And sometimes I like to just go back and forth a few times. It kind of hardens that up. And you make sure that the loop is touching. And then you have your drop earring. And then you just repeat for the other side. So that's all there is to it. They look really cool, but they're really not that hard to make. So I hope you have fun making these earrings, and I hope you'll join with me for Earrings Every Day Month starting September 1st. Registration for Earrings eCourse, the paid version where you get a new video and PDF tutorial each and every day for the month of September has begun. So you can go to KimberlyKohler.com slash earrings dash eCourse, and I'll just have the link below this video so you can find it easily. And remember to come over to my blog post where you'll find step-by-step -step photo and written instructions as well. You can also purchase a PDF version of this tutorial for just a few bucks. It helps support my bi-weekly videos, but it also gives you a easy way to save and download and print if you want um, these tutorials. So. Come on over to KimberlyKohler.com. The link to this specific episode will be below this video. Have a great day. Be creative, and I'll talk to you soon.